How's it going everybody? This is Steve aka Steve Ninja and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to give an instant reaction to the new movie Bullet Train. This is based on a book and I gave the movie three out of five stars on Letterboxd uh, which is like a C plus and uh, really for, for me uh, I, the, the, I could actually like this a little bit more the, the second time I see it. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to see it again in the theater, probably not, but but overall, I, it, it, it was entertaining. Uh, the movie is considered to be an action comedy. It runs at 126 minutes. It's directed by David Leach. Uh, he did the movies uh, Atomic Blonde, uh, Deadpool 2, and then Hobbs and Shaw. You know, so I, I thought he was uh, he was okay. I, I thought the, the story was was kind of messy. It, it, it's a uh, they they have a lot of subplots that are all kind of told in and flashbacks throughout the movie. That but it all comes together kind of in a third act, I think. I think a lot of uh, known stars in it. Uh, um, I think a lot of people in Japan were hoping that this would actually be a you know a J Japanese production. It would have you know mostly you know Japanese stars and and you know it would be, be not be told in English like it is. You know, so, so I think a lot of people that that know the book are from, are disappointed that it was that, it, that has a a global kind of cast. You know, obviously they want to get a global box office for the movie. So they they had to they had to have all these you know, American actors and a couple of American actors actually have British accents and it like Joey King for example uh, you know the movie stars of Brad Pitt obviously a great actor uh, he's 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 in the movie quite a bit but uh, you know because they're doing all these flashbacks they kind of go away from him quite a, quite often to tell these other stories you know it um, it has a you know, Joey King like I mentioned. Uh, Aaron Taylor Johnson, you know, from the, the kick-ass movies, and he was also in Tenet, um, you know, British actor, I, I, I thought he was good in the movie, it had, uh, Brian Tyree Henry, uh, if, you, if you saw, you know, if you saw The Eternals, or uh, Godzilla vs. Kong, he was in that, and I, I thought he was good in the movie, uh, it has uh, Michael Shannon, he's not really in the movie a lot, but his, his character is kind of a, the, one of the, the main, uh, the story kind of centers around his character quite a bit, but it has a you know, Sandra Bullock is is not in not really in the movie. You, you could you could uh, you can kind of hear a like hear her voice throughout the movie, but um, she she's not in the movie a whole lot really. Uh, uh, you know you don't don't see her a whole lot in the movie, but it has a also a Hiroyuki uh, Sonata Sonata uh, uh, Japanese uh, actor well known. But overall, it uh, I I just thought the. Like I said, it, I think that if I see this again, I may actually enjoy it quite a bit more. But uh, I just uh, just felt it's kind of messy, and uh, and you know, the second time I see it, I, I would know exactly where it's going. But it's just all these different stories kind of trying to trying to pull together. You know, it just it, it kind of made it kind of messy. So I, I I try not to discourage people from going to the movie theater. I, you know, today's crowd was was okay. Uh, considering a lot of people probably saw this on Thursday night and, and Friday, but yeah, it, um, I, I thought it's tough for a Saturday afternoon at like a, a 3:40 showing at a Regal Cinema. Uh, I thought uh, I thought I'd get a, a slightly larger crowd than this, but um, it's not always a bad thing, you know. You kind of room room to kind of spread out in a, in a theater and and you know uh, get away from people and just kind of enjoy the movie and not focus on the the, the people that are there necessarily, but. But uh, it doesn't do do well for a box office, you know. It, unfortunately, it doesn't help movie theaters out, you know, which uh, which I'm I'm all about supporting movie theaters. But um, but overall, I'd say you might check it out, you know. It, um, you know, I, I have Regal Unlimited, I have uh, AMC A List, so I can see any movie I want, and it, it it doesn't really cost me a whole lot other than that that monthly you know subscription price. But so, but please uh, please give, give this video a thumbs up if you like my content. Uh, I'm going to do, be doing like a, a Quentin Tarantino ranking video for too long and then I'm going to do my Criterion, uh, show off all, all my Criterion movies, which is like 76 movies that I have so far in my, my, my collection. So I'm going to be doing that probably you know, sometime this, this month. So it's going to take me a long time to do the, do the, the Criterion one, a lot of editing on that. So, uh, but I look forward to that. It just kind of showing off what I have and, uh, you know, I still have a huge huge list of uh, a wish list of uh, criterions I still want to buy and and I'll, I'll be hitting those quite a bit in in November so but uh, please consider subscribing and have a good day bye